Hello, this is Voices for Learning, where we help you grow as a voice actor. My name is Susan, thanks for being here. In this video, I am gonna show you how you can tell if you have passed your ACX submission requirements. And it is so amazingly easy. You're gonna be able to know if you've passed your RMS levels, your peak levels, and your noise floor. So just watch, I'm gonna show you um, the, kind of like the end result, and then what I'll do is I'll show you how to get to that particular plugin so you can utilize this in your software. So in my Audacity program, I have just like a piece of recording, whatever, voiceover, audio recording. And all I'm going to do is just make, just make sure that it is selected. So you just click over here on the left. It's, it's selected. And then I just go to Analyze because I'm analyzing the audio. Then I go down to this handy dandy thing called ACX check. And oh my gosh, look what this is. It tells me what my peak level is. And if I passed, which I did, it tells me my RMS level. And if I passed, which I did, and my noise floor. Now it gave me a warning. It says that it's too low. It says dead silent sounds unnatural. Well, I hate to tell you this ACX check plugin, but maybe my studio is just super crazy awesome. And I just have a great room tone in my studio. So um, I'm gonna show you how you can get this ACX check plugin in your Audacity software. So here we go. Okay, to get the ACX Check plugin in uh, Audacity, what you're gonna do is go to this website right here, which of course is in the description, um, this link, and I'm gonna walk you through how to do this. So um, what you're gonna do is go down to Contents and ACX Check, and just go ahead and click on it and it's gonna take you down the page. Um, before we download it, before you download it, let me just kind of go over what you're actually getting with the ACX check and kind of give you uh, just sort of like a little caveat about the whole thing too. So um, the, your peak level, it's going to give you your maximum peak level in the selection. Now, just remember um, for ACX, the peak level needs to be at negative 3.00 or higher. So in other words, if you have like negative 3.5, that's okay. Um, but it needs to be at negative 3.0 or more. The RMS level uh, needs to be between negative 18 uh, decibels and negative 23 decibels. So right in the middle is where you really want it to be at negative 20. And then the noise floor level needs to be uh, less than negative 60. And so that's what the ACX check does. It checks the peak level, it checks the RMS level, and it checks the noise level. So the way that you download this is you just go back up to just a little bit further up the page to ACX check and acxcheck.ny, which stands for the Nyquist, and you just click on download and then it's going to download. Now, I'm using Chrome, and so that's why my screen looks like this. Um, your downloads may come in someplace else, but in Chrome, here it is, and I can just kind of like look and see in the folder. There it is, the ACX, um, and it has a one next to it because I've already done this. I've, I'm just sort of replicating the process for you. So at this point, don't do anything. You're good, it's in your download folder, we're good. So I'm just going to minimize all of this and go back into Audacity. And here in Audacity, um, what I'm going to do is use the Nyquist tool, uh, the Nyquist plugin installer, to go ahead and install the actual ACX check plugin. So you want to make sure that your tools menu is open. Go down to Nyquist plugin installer down here towards the bottom. And then what we're going to do is browse for the actual ACX check. So you're going to go to your downloads folder and here like I'm just going to pretend like this is not my downloads folder. So let's say this is what I get. I just go to downloads folder. 
it's alphabetized, so there it is. And I'm simply going to click on acxcheck.ny. Now again, mine has a one next to it. Yours probably does not have a one next to it, which is a, what it should look like. And then you just simply click on open. And then what you're gonna, um, it'll go back to the Nyquist plugin installer and it'll say select files to install and it'll say users, whatever, downloads, acxcheck.ny. And then what we want to do is allow overwriting. So right now mine says disallow. You just click on the down arrow and you click on allow. And then OK. And success. And OK. And then you should be able to use it. The fastest way to use it is just, you know, record something really fast in Audacity. Make sure that you select the audio and then just go to Analyze and down ACX Check and it will tell you what your peak level is, your RMS level and your noise floor. So that is it. Happy recording. I hope this works for you and I hope that it makes your life a whole lot easier. I wish that I had had this in the beginning when I started recording because I was always really stressed out about, you know, the submission requirements for ACX. So I hope this makes your life easier. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Keep going. Have a great day. Bye. See you next time.